Hello! I'm here with a new video. This week I'm doing a reading challenge. I love this trend that's starting to come up of the screen time to book time challenge, which is looking at your screen time on your phone and converting some stuff into book time because uh, I've been wasting a lot of time on my phone, specifically TikTok and Instagram. So that's what I'm trying to curb right now. So uh, I think everyone is kind of following different rules. Here's what I'm doing for my challenge. I'm going to look at my screen time. So settings. I already looked at this earlier this morning, so it shouldn't be different. Screen time. I'm looking at the average from last week. So the things I'm trying to curb are Instagram and TikTok. That's where most of my time has been wasted. Uh, if you look here, I'll take a screenshot. Um, you can see Instagram is 8 hours and 10 minutes, TikTok 7 hours and 19 minutes last week. Um, you'll also see Universal Paper Clips, which is a stupid game that I got sucked into for a couple days, but uh, that was a, a blip. We're not talking about that anymore. That's over. So uh, the rules for this challenge are, so the average is... For, per day for Instagram is daily average of one hour and 10 minutes. And for TikTok, it is daily average one hour and two minutes. So I think to average that out, it'll be two hours and 15 minutes of screen time averaging between TikTok and Instagram. So my challenge is I'm not allowed to open TikTok or Instagram on my phone until I have read for two hours and 15 minutes that day. This is going to be hard, I think. Um, but we're going to do it. I have confidence in my ability to get up early and read. That's where most of the time suck happens, I think, is in the morning when I'm lying in bed. Um, so I'm going to try a strategy that has worked for me before, which is leave the phone not in the bedroom. That seems to help. I try it every once in a while when I need like a cleanse. I find I wake up in the middle of the night and I just start scrolling and then I can't get back to sleep again. So I will have my ebook next to my bed, but that's it. If I need to read, I can read that. I can get out of bed and grab an, another book or something, but I'm not going to be sitting in bed scrolling on my phone anymore. And yeah, I'm not allowed to open Instagram or TikTok until I... Um, I've read for the day. So I'm going to start that tomorrow. Today's Sunday. So I'm going to try, I think, Monday to Friday is going to be this challenge. And we're going to see how it goes. Um, yeah, so I'll check in tomorrow once I get started. Good morning. It's the next day. I have a confession. I brought my phone to bed with me last night. I'm sorry, but um, I think I, I don't think I will tonight. I did not have a good sleep. So I'm not up early enough to get too much reading done. I can only read for about 45 minutes before I need to get to work. Which is uh, not good for my TikTok and Instagram craving. I set up like a parental block on my phone for those apps. So I can't use them. Like I can. I can override it. But it's too much. It's too many steps. So that should deter me. It should remind me if I try to open it subconsciously that no, you're on a reading challenge. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to read this morning. I might pick away at another Shadowhunters book because I'm still working my way through that series. Um, or maybe not, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I have to work in 45 minutes. So not clearing the uh, the target this morning. But uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to do it though. We're going to do it today. I feel it. So uh, one thing I didn't think of is how I'm going to keep track of this, uh, how much time I've read each day. I guess I'll do like a timer, but I'm not really sure how it, it works, if I can add to it, like if I can stop and then continue reading later. We're going to try. So uh, yeah, that's my reading. Hello, time for uh, my first check-in. I have read for an hour and 15 minutes so far today, so that means I have one more hour to have, uh, one more hour of reading before I'm allowed to really use my phone, which is hard. It's lunchtime now, and it's like a late lunch. It's, yeah, almost 2 o'clock. 
I read for, yeah, 45 minutes uh, before I started working, and then I listened to an audiobook for another 45 minutes while I was working. Um, story about the birds being freaking noisy outside. Anyway, I, um, I made lunch. It's kind of a dreary day, so I made some tomato soup. Yummy. Here, here it is. Um, I'm probably going to sit at my desk, watch some uh, booktube videos while I eat. Maybe keep listening to an audiobook so I can knock some uh, some time off. We'll see. Anyway, this is hard. I uh, have been very tempted to um, open TikTok especially. But uh, it's nice that it's like grayed out on my phone. So like I just scroll over to TikTok and I see like, oh no, you can't do that. So I think the uh, like parental controls is working. And... Um, yeah, I've been reading some Shadowhunters, Chain of Gold. I'm still not really into this one, but um, i got to get through it. I'm almost done the Shadowhunters challenge. That'll be its own separate video. I read, also this morning, I read a chapter of The Count of Monte Cristo. It's a classic I'm working my way through. I'm working my way through it very slowly. But yeah, I'm still not really sure... What book is going to be, like, my anchor book for this week? So we'll see about that. I um, have a couple options. I think whatever I'm in the mood for reading at the end of the day today, that's going to kind of dictate the rest of the week. I have a few options floating around. I'm still working at um, Filthy Animals by Brandon Taylor, too, which uh, I'm, like, halfway through it. I'm really enjoying it, but it's short stories, so I can kind of take a break, and it's not a big deal. All right, I just got sent an arc of Assembly by Natasha Brown. That's a shorter book, so it definitely won't take all week, but I might dive into that later today just to give it a read. I think it's already out in the UK, but it comes out here in September, I think. But I'm excited to read it. I've heard really good things. So we're going to do that probably. Anyway, that's my first check-in. So far the challenge is going good, but not great. See you in a bit. Hello, I did it. Kind of. I um, didn't accomplish today's goal until like 5.30 tonight. And then now I'm allowed to use Instagram and TikTok. I listened to more of the Shadowhunters audiobook while I was preparing dinner. And that set me over the goal. So day one, not too bad. Um, I'd like to uh, finish earlier in the next few days. I have some, uh, I have quite a backlog actually of stuff I want to post on Instagram and like I might just break the rules a little bit to post that stuff because um, I find just where I am in Nova Scotia with the time zones, no one really sees my posts unless I post them around lunchtime. So I need to... Uh, yeah, I need to be ready, be done by then. But uh, yeah, for the most part, it's done. I finished that book, um, Assembly. I finished it. It was very interesting. It was very sparse, very like poetic, very um, interesting. I feel like I need to think about it a little bit more. I'm, I might do a more of a, a recap tomorrow, but I really liked it. Um, I read it in one sitting, like literally 45 minutes. Uh it wasn't even the thing I read most today. This chonker is. Um, but, um, yeah, I finished it. So that was nice. And, uh, yeah, I'll report back tomorrow once I've, like, let that digest a little bit. Because it was pretty heavy of a read, even though it was so short and sparse. And wasn't a lot of detail, but still very moving, I think. So, um, yeah. Tonight, I don't know if I'm going to read more. I'm kind of in a reading mood still. Maybe that's the whole point of this challenge is you get in a reading mood and you want to keep going. But um, yeah, I want to keep reading tonight a little bit. I'm not sure what. Probably more Shadowhunters. I left it in the middle of a chapter on this. So I'm definitely going to finish that, get it like a clean break. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. This was fun. I'll report back soon. 
Good morning. I read so far today for about half an hour. Then I went right to work. So I'm not <laughs> I'm not ahead of schedule as I hoped I would be. I did use a little exemption. I did go on Instagram for 15 minutes. I uh, put on a, a new post, my review of Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan I just posted. Um, but besides that, I'm still sticking to it. I haven't opened TikTok at all. I've only opened Instagram just to post that one thing. It's lunchtime now. I think I could read for another 45 minutes. So that'll get us some some points. And then this afternoon, I don't think it's going to be too busy either. So I could listen to an audiobook while I work. So that'll be good um, for the challenge. Anyway, besides that, yesterday, like I said, I finished Assembly by Natasha Brown. It was incredible. I read it literally in 45 minutes. It's so brief and sparse, but so good. It's all about this unnamed woman who is a black British woman and kind of her relationship with her boyfriend, who is a white man. And um, he comes from some generational wealth. And it's kind of about the difference between him and her under capitalism and how race plays into that. It was such an amazing book. I'm going to reread this book like 20 times, I think. Um, it comes out in September in North America. It's already out in the UK. It was sent to me uh, by Hachette. That's the Canadian uh, imprint, I guess. Yeah, I think I can do a lot of reading today. Um, it's Tuesday. My boyfriend has started working late on Tuesdays, which gives me an opportunity to get some things done. Mainly, I read a lot. I'm still picking away a little bit at um, that Shadowhunters book. It's getting a bit easier now. I'm starting to get a bit more into the story. I think I can finish it in a day or two. I hope so. I'm getting so tired of the Shadowhunters books. I'm sorry, Shadowhunters fans. Marathoning them all in six months is hard. Completely forgot to mention, I started reading The Gunkle. Uh, I'm like two or three chapters in. It's cute so far. I'm not sure if I love it yet, but I definitely like it. I'm intrigued. I'm excited to keep reading. It's kind of about this man. He's a gay, kind of retired actor. He had a recurring role on a popular sitcom, I think. And um, his uh, best friend, who's married to his brother, she passes away. And his brother needs to go into rehab to look after his kids. Um, so now these children are kind of thrust upon this poor man. Um, they come to live with him in Palm Springs. And uh, it's kind of hilarity ensues from there so so far i'm still really early in the book they're only just starting to make their way back to palm springs now but i'm excited to see what happens kind of what the major conflict is yeah that's probably what i'm going to keep reading today anyway i'm going to make some lunch now because i'm freaking hungry we went grocery shopping last night and got so many snacks i am like overwhelmed with snack options it's a good problem to have, but also a terrible problem to have because, um, you know. Anyway, that's my update. Thank you so much. You keep watching. I'm feeling very, um, it's like uh, the last day or second last day of cancer season. I'm feeling very introspective lately. Um, I love, as a cancer, I love living in my feelings, living in my head. Um... I'm not ready for Leo season. It's too loud, too busy for me. Um, so I'm kind of mourning this, like, interest, the loss of this introspective period. Trying to get myself, like, emotionally ready. I don't know. I don't know how much I really believe in astrology and horoscopes, but um, I've definitely been feeling the, uh, the introspection the last little bit. I'm a Cancer. I know. Anyway. I did it! I finished the challenge for the day. Sorry, I'm just here cooking some dinner, making some enchiladas. Um, yeah, after work I finished reading for like 45 more minutes I had. And then um, 
sat on TikTok for a good half hour. But uh, now it's dinner time. Making some dinner. Gonna watch some TV after. Still in the reading mood, though. So I might... It's nice out. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be so nice out today. So I might go sit in the backyard and read some more. But, uh, yeah, that's it. I did it for today. Mission accomplished. Day two. Um, this challenge kind of sucks. I miss uh, being able to just impulsively open social media whenever I feel like it. But uh, I'm sticking with it for the week. So stay tuned. Good morning. It's the next day. I read for 45 minutes this morning. Still not waking up as early as I would like to for this challenge. But uh, what can you do? I have been reading The Gunkle. I am at 60% of the way through. So almost done. And I really like it. This is really a cute book. It's very charming. It's a lot more, um, like, it's cute and funny, but it's also a lot more serious than I was expecting. And is actually ta tackling some interesting subjects, like grief and contemporary queerness. And I think it's really, really cool. Um, it's basically about, yeah, I think I've explained it already. It's the, a, gun <laughs> a gunkle. Um, yeah, basically looking after these kids. Yeah, he's just teaching them about the world, and they're teaching him about himself, and it's just so cute. Um, I've also been reading Filthy Animals by Brandon Taylor. I'm almost done. I think I have two short stories left. Um, I've been enjoying this, too. Not as much as I hoped I would, though. I am really sad about that, but it's okay. Um, especially the last couple, I've been enjoying more than the first half. I find... Um, a lot of the stories are very similar, and I think that's why I'm starting to enjoy it more now, as they're starting to get a bit more diverse in scope. But yeah, they're all about kind of different inherent animalistic urges and tendencies that we all have, and there's some sort of desire that a protagonist is experiencing in each of these short stories. Um, so that's kind of what it's exploring there's a little bit of a plot line connecting through some of the stories, but not all of them, at least so far. But, uh, yeah, I like that one, too. It's very gay, which, you know, I always like. Um, yeah, besides that, I think today while I'm working, I'm going to try to listen to more of the uh, Chain of Gold audiobook. I have it out from the library, but it's due tomorrow. I have... I think eight hours left of the audiobook. I listen on two times speed, so that's only actually four hours of listening time. So I might be able to do it today. I have a few meetings. So while I'm working, I'm going to try. Maybe tonight if I don't, but it's not a big deal. I have the book. So if I don't finish the audiobook in time, it's okay. So yeah, that's today's morning update. I'm going to get started on work now. I have a few emails to respond to. Yeah listen to my morning podcast for a bit and then switch back to audiobooks. That's really all that's going on. Nothing new to uh, update you on. Stay tuned. See if I reach the goal for day three. I'm really enjoying not being able to go on social media in the morning. It's actually been very refreshing. Um, this morning I did open Instagram for a second before the uh, like parental controls kicked in and was like, you can't do this. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I think a social media break is good, even if it's not like a full cold turkey break. Anyway, that's my thoughts for today. So I just went to the bookstore. I'm breaking my book buying ban just because I had a coupon for my birthday. What ha that bleh, for my birthday that happened last week? Yeah. So I picked up Johnny Appleseed and this the Three Body Problem, but um, they didn't apply the coupon. So I don't know if I'm just gonna leave it. And um, maybe buy another book with the coupon or return them and check it again. We'll see. But uh, yeah, book buying ban has been broken temporarily. Just a little bit. It's okay. Anyway, now I have like 10 minutes to eat because I have a meeting. And um, yeah, 
I listened to a bit of audiobook while I was working this morning, but not enough to be able to go on social media yet. So we'll see how long it takes today. I really want it to be done before lunchtime today, but uh, not happening. It's lunchtime now. And I still have another like hour and 15 minutes I need to read. So what can you do? Fun challenge, though. I just got off of a very long Zoom meeting. I want literally nothing more than to just lie down for 10 minutes and scroll through TikTok. But I haven't, uh, haven't read enough yet. So, um, <laughs> here we are vlogging about it. My struggles. It's the first, uh, pressure point I've hit, I think. Yeah. I don't really want to read right now. I want to turn my brain off. But, um, that's the challenge. Anyway, that's my uh, that's my afternoon rant. It's 2.30. I've got a lot of work to do this week, so I might work some extra hours tonight. Maybe listen to the audiobook. We'll see. Ugh. Anyway, cool. So it's like 7 p.m. I still haven't read anything. So I still need to read for one more hour tonight before I can go on social media. I'm going to do it, like, now. I'm going to make it. It's okay. I'm just taking a little break. I just uh, had dinner. It was really nice. My uh, boyfriend and I cooked together, kind of. He went outside and did the barbecue. I did some, like, sides inside. But it was our first time, like, collaborating on dinner in a long time, and it was nice. Anyway, now I'm watching some uh, YouTube videos. Grace doing the uh, Try a Chapter vlog. Uh, GK Reads, for those not in the loop, um, I really like this challenge that she's doing where she reads the first chapter of a bunch of books and then picks which one she wants to read, so I might do that soon. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, once this video is done, probably gonna get back to reading. I know that people have been sending me TikToks all day, and I want to see what they are. Because I have a simple lizard brain and uh, I need immediate gratification to all notifications. So, yeah, first struggle. But we're, we're more than halfway through. It's Wednesday. So I only need to do this for two more days. So um, I, believe, I believe in myself. We can do this. We got this. Okay. All right, so reading update. I've reached my goal. I went over a couple minutes because I just finished Filthy Animals by Brandon Taylor. I really liked this one. It was um, very insightful. Brandon Taylor has a way of like observing how people act and how people interact with each other in a way that I don't think any author really has that much control over. Like the nuance that he picks up on and incorporates into his writing is so beautiful. Yeah, I'll have a full... I'll, I'll come up with some full thoughts after I let it sit for a bit. But um, this was a great collection of short stories. I really liked it. Um, I also, before I finished that, I read a bit more of The Gunkle. Things are getting a lot more serious in this book now. I'm at 75%, so I'm almost done. The kids are so sweet. The Gunkle is so sweet. It's starting to explore more about um, the protagonist's life leading up to this moment and how he was in a relationship for a long time and then uh, that man died. And it's kind of about his grief from that and how it feels incomplete and um, the grief of his best friend who's left him these kids now. And uh, it's very good it's very um like it's not depressing it's very but it's still very like moving so i'm i'm enjoying this exploration of grief a lot it's a lot more serious than i thought it was going to be but it's okay it's a good it's a good book um i'm excited to see how it ends i hope these kids end up happy i'm sure all these characters are gonna end up fine it doesn't seem like a the way it's marketed from the cover it doesn't seem like it's gonna be like a tragic ending um, so I'm excited to see the ending of that. Also excited to open up TikTok as soon as I finish filming this uh, clip. Because 
I'm a nerd. Tomorrow is going to be tough, I think, for this challenge. I, like, I need to get up early and read a lot in the morning, I think, because I have basically a full morning of meetings tomorrow, so I can't read or listen to an audio book while I work. And then in the afternoon, I think I need to go places. Like, I need to leave the house. Um, my work is permanently work from home now. But um, when we closed our office, we put a lot of stuff in, like, some storage lockers, like a storage facility, and I need to go there and dig some dig some stuff out. So that's my, my afternoon project tomorrow, and I need to, to ship some things as well. So very exciting. I know my office life of um, storage lockers and FedEx, but uh, that's going to keep me from reading. And, like, the other thing is when I'm driving around tomorrow, the uh, audiobook that I've been listening to for Chain of Gold, it expires tonight, I think. I think it's going to be gone when I wake up in the morning. So um, no audiobook for that. I have a bunch of audiobook credits to like buy an audiobook, not get it from the library, but um, I'm not sure if it's worth using up a credit for a third of a book. You know, I'm almost done. So I'm just going to read it, I think. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll find another audiobook to listen to tomorrow now that I'm done. Filthy animals. I'll see if there's something else available. Anyway, that's tonight's update. I'm going to look at some TikTok and Instagram for a bit and then probably watch some TV and fall asleep. Like this, so other side note, I think I'm getting more used to um, spilling my guts out to uh, a camera that I'm holding. Um, I'm getting used to uh, talking to the camera. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, other Other note, there's a bunch of new subscribers in the last couple of days. Hello. Nice to meet you. Tell your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Or tell your friends to subscribe. Yeah, we got a couple a couple shares of the channel from some some other bookstagrammers, which I really appreciate. And I'm really happy to have you along for the ride. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. Anyway, I think this vlog is gonna be long because it's only Wednesday. I'm not going to worry about that. We'll deal with that in editing this weekend. All right. I'm done for now. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning. I did it. I got up early. I have an hour left of reading, and I have an hour before I need to start work. So I'd say it's a success. Um, also, this morning I finished The Gunkle. I really liked it. It was so cute. Um... It didn't blow me away. I didn't think it was anything like revolutionary, but I really enjoyed it. It made me feel good when I read it. Um, the ending was predictable, but it's the kind of book that it didn't need to have any sort of like twists or dramatic reveals or anything. So it's fine. Um, yeah, besides that, it was a really enjoyable book. The characters were all so sweet and cute and there's a little bit of a romance in there, too. That was nice. And, uh, yeah, it was a really cute book. Um, and it did actually go in pretty in-depth about grief. And I thought it was um, well done. So that's The Gunkle. Next, I think I'm going to start Imposter Syndrome. I have this out from the library for another week. Um, I don't really know what it's about. I like Kathy Wang. I read Family Trust like a year, year and a half ago, and I enjoyed it. So um, I have uh, some high hopes. I think it's got some buzz when it came out a few months ago, but I, I don't really remember what it's about. Anyway, that's this morning's reading. I also read um, Chain of Gold for a bit more. I'm almost done it now, so uh, thankfully that can be done. Thursday morning off to a great start so far, and uh, maybe I'll be able to watch some TikToks at lunch today. <laughs> anyway, how's it going? I realized that I haven't checked in like at all today. Uh, it was a kind of busy day at work. I'm very worn out now. I'm going to make some dinner. Uh, very exciting. I did accomplish my goal. I read everything I needed to read before I even started working today. So that was really good. 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of the evening. Um, besides, obviously, making dinner. Kitchen's a bit of a mess. I'm going to tidy it up a bit. Very exciting things here on the Ryan's Bookshelf channel. I know. I'm feeling a very, like, strange urge to... I just want to buy something stupid. You know, when you just get the, like, shopaholic... I don't know, retail therapy. I don't know why. But I want to... I don't know, I want to ac acquire a thing. So after dinner, I might um, wander over to Walmart. I haven't been there in... Uh, I haven't been to Walmart in months. So... Uh, yeah, maybe I'll do that. That being said, I don't want to... I'm on a book bang ban. I don't really want to waste a lot of money because... Uh, spoiler alert. Our family is growing pretty soon. I'm not going to... don't want to give it away. But, um... Yeah, there's a reason to save money right now. So, that, uh... Yeah, that's my update for today. I don't think it's going to be too exciting. If I find something hilarious at the store, maybe I'll show it off. But if not, I'll see you tomorrow for the last day of the challenge. Very exciting. I assembled all of the um, footage I've recorded so far for this vlog, and it's already like half an hour long. So this is a longer video, but that's okay. I think people like that. Let me know if you like longer videos or shorter videos. I'm curious. Cool. Thanks so much. That's the update. See you tomorrow. Just starting to get dinner ready, and I found this bagel in the toaster. I uh, put it there today at lunchtime. Totally forgot about it. That's how busy I was. My bad. Um, I also went to, um, earlier today when I was out running errands, I went and bought some vegetables. Actually, this isn't even all of it. I have some in the fridge too, but I went to this new discount like produce store. I got all of this for $10 plus like a bunch of lettuce and um, some other stuff that's in the fridge already. Very excited about that. Snagged a deal. We love a bargain. Anyway, I'm going to make some uh, quinoa pork slovaki bowls. Yummy. So I just pulled out my camera to film an update. And it is a torrential downpour. Out of nowhere, it's still sunny. Weird. Anyway, I've been listening to the audiobook for imposter syndrome while working. It's lunchtime now. I only need to listen to it for like half an hour more. And I've finished the goal for the day. So I'm going to do that. And I'll come back with an update, like a little recap of the reading in a bit. And try to stay dry. Oh my god. It's scary. So I did it. The last day of the challenge is done. I've been uh, listening to more of imposter syndrome while I worked this afternoon. It's almost the end of the work day. Almost the weekend. Uh... And I'm free. <laughs> it was um, it was a fun challenge. I really enjoyed it. But uh, that was uh, it. Got hard sometimes. Uh, so imposter syndrome, though, I'm really enjoying it. I'm about halfway through. It is about uh, the CEO of a like tech company. It's like one of the biggest tech companies in the world. It's supposed to be like a Google equivalent, I think. Um, and it's basically she's the CEO or COO and um, secretly a Russian spy. So it's all about her. Her name is Julia. Her kind of balancing the uh, the R Russian intelligence put me in this position or like got me to Silicon Valley. But I still did all the work to get to the top of this company. How much information do I want to feed them? Do I want to put my position at risk? And it's also, at the same time, kind of about this up-and-comer in the company who's kind of on to her. So it's about that dynamic between the two of them. And it's really interesting so far. I'm enjoying it. I don't, like, love it. It's not an amazing book, but at least so far. But it's an enjoyable read and an enjoyable listen while I'm working. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I'm going to wrap it up 
just do a check-in on my screen time this past week here. Overall, my phone time is down 9% from last week so far. Um, I'm going to go into activity now, see how we're doing. So Instagram and TikTok are not my most used apps anymore. It's gone up to Twitter only just. I was on Twitter a lot. I should have probably not been allowed on Twitter either, but what can you do? I had to cheat somehow. I had to get my fix. So my daily average on TikTok this week is still an hour. That includes Sunday, though. I was low. I looks like I only used it about half an hour on Monday and Wednesday. But um, Tuesday and Thursday, I still used it a lot. Because I finished my challenge and then I could just sit on TikTok. Uh, and Instagram. Instagram is way down. It's 4 hours, 39 minutes average. Daily average, 46 minutes. So that's just in general. It's down. Sunday is included in that average as well. So that's affecting it. It's probably a bit lower than that this week. But yeah, overall... I'd say it was a success. I feel like I don't feel as addicted to TikTok and Instagram anymore. I feel like it was effective at like curbing my constant need to check in on those websites. So I'd say it's a success. This was fun. We did it, guys. And I read so much this week. That's the real, the real big bonus. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this challenge. Let me know if you're interested in doing a challenge like this. How successful have you been? What's your screen time like? What do you need to stop using? Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I've got some really good ones on the way. Thanks so much for being here with me. Uh, I'm having a great time with y'all. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.